The lens flare effect is something you can add to your slides to emphasize the brightness of the light in the background and to add some movement or some realism to your slides. Um, it's very quick to make. You'll notice in the lens flare effect there are circles and hexagons. Um, apparently the hexagons appear um, in relation to the shape of the aperture you're using to take the photograph. Obviously we're just creating our own version of it but to make it realistic I'm using circles and hexagons. Uh, there's no set way of making them because all lens flares look different. The thing that makes them look realistic is the colours, um, the transparency and the variation in the shapes that you use. So at the moment I'm using a guideline from one corner to the other and just arranging some circles of different sizes onto it and then adding some hexagons. I believe you can actually use lens flare effect in things like Photoshop and it actually makes them for you. Um, but I like to make all of my things with PowerPoint and I haven't got Photoshop so. So what you're doing now is um, arranging them how you want them. I generally like it to get bigger as it gets to one corner and smaller at the other side. Change the colour of all of the shapes to white and keep the outline and make it the same colour and we're just going to adjust the transparency of the, the main colour and of the outline. Make the outline slightly less transparent, that's optional. Create a little bit of overlap. And now the next thing you can do is just edit the colours slightly, so rather than using a white just use a very bright yellow or a very bright green because sometimes in lens flare you get variation of colours and it just adds a bit of more interest to the shape. So now what you want to do is get rid of the guideline, group them all together by selecting all and pressing Ctrl G and make any other final alteration that you want to make. So the next thing I want to do is create a light source, so I've used this elongated triangle and I'm pressing Ctrl D to duplicate it and then uh, changing its angle by 5 degrees and adding it to the shape. Now I want to group them all together and then copy and paste it and then flip that shape so that I can make it uh, a semicircle, somewhere like a sunrise and then I want to make it white and semi-transparent and then I want also to duplicate that so that I can flip it around and make a full sun shape. That's going to make it look like a light source. Um, the other thing I did is I deleted it and pasted it back as a picture which allows you to use the uh, transparency effect. So this is what it's going to look like at the end but I want to add some movement to the shapes. So the animations I'm going to be using uh, first of all, for the lens flare, I want it to fade into appearance, so I've put a very long fade appearance on it. And then at the same time I want it to spin slowly on its axis. And also for the sunlight effect, I've added a motion so it appears from the left and I want it also to spin slightly at the same time. So when you combine all those together, this is what you get. If you've got more time and you want some more dramatic effect, you can create more detailed compositions like this using the same principles. I hope this has been useful. Let me know any feedback of how I can improve the videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.